Mythic Rare here, and we finished it. 11.49 p.m. Central, just submitted my Google Exit form for Jills and Chills 2023. For any of y'all who don't know, this is Space for Reflection by Chuck Pinson, and yes, it is a Diamond Art Club. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby on Labor Day weekend, and I... Like, I wasn't even expecting to get this. I thought that I was going to be doing coloring stuff the whole time, but my coloring piece with the werewolf, it just wasn't bringing me joy. Like, I was seeing all the other diamond painters out there, and FOMO hit me, like, so hard. So, I went to Hobby Lobby in desperation, and I had, like, seen this kit several times in there, it would always be like the last one on the shelf in the diamond painting section. Nobody wanted to pick it up. I guess because they saw like the landscape and stuff and people were intimidated. I don't know. But I had gone to this Hobby Lobby several times and it would always be there. Like just this one lonely kit. And finally I decided to take it home. And yeah. After many nights of staying up until sometimes two and three in the morning, I finally, finally have this done. Um, it is kind of bittersweet to see it go, but I feel like I'm, I'm ready for a break on the diamond painting stuff for a little bit, and then we get on into jingle drills. So, a few things that I learned about doing this kit. Number one, I do not like grayscale. Um, if you go back to my earlier whip and chats about this kit, I feel like I was dragged off by my ankles, kicking and screaming, going through like all of those mountains. Oh, but I just like lived for getting on into those trees and putting down the fiery reds and the oranges. And yellows. Oh, yeah. Number two, I greatly underestimated how long it would take for me to finish this because I still thought, you know, I'd have time to do coloring book stuff, but no, this pretty much took me from like September 4th all the way up until now on Halloween like just barely before midnight central but I've had like I am kind of a busy person and you know life happens in between and I do work 40 hours too so like there is that but yeah um so yeah like tons of confetti it does take longer but the detail that you get with this, it's gorgeous, like, like, the water reflection on there came out so well. But there was also, like, a lot more color blocking than what I originally gave this kit credit for. Because, of course, you know, like, the shrubbery and stuff, that was a confetti nightmare, right? But, like, that the boat dock and stuff and the cabin like I was just going ham with my 10 placer I was just like yes and then like same thing there with the sky and like the lake reflecting the sky yeah there was like hidden surprises in this kit too because the artwork on the box didn't show it I'm just like oh oh there is ducks there hello and I just yeah and then it's like oh wait there's I just realized from stepping back and looking at this kit like there's a second boat right over there <laughs> But yes, like, do you not like grays? Confetti when 
there is a purpose to it is very rewarding. But at the same time, like number three, landscapes can sometimes bring you more color blocking than what you originally anticipated. And this is not a very beginner friendly kit. I strongly discourage you if you're um, doing something like this for the first time unless, you know, like maybe you've cross-stitched or something and you're, loose, you're uh, used to very time-consuming crafts. But if you have never cross-stitched before, if you've never diamond painted before, like def or if it's you're like maybe only done a few kits and this is your first event, like Drills and Chills, I would strongly discourage you from picking this up because it may be a bit more than what you're ready for. I've diamond painted since Black Friday of 2020. I probably have somewhere between like 8 to 12 kits done at this point. I know like I cannot hold a candle to uh, some of the other YouTubers on there that are like getting um, like in excess of 10 plus done in a year. But um, you know, like I've been at it for a while and I knew what this would entail Honestly, I wasn't expecting to finish this in time, and I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> um, so with that being said, with it being a landscape, it and this level of detail, I think that it would be a gorgeous piece to hang up if you, you know, want to add it to, um, an office or like a dining room, a hallway, you know, whatever, like this would make excellent home decor for yourself. Or, you know, if you have the funds available to put it in a frame, this would make an excellent gift for the holiday season or, if maybe somebody's having a fall wedding, like, totally. Um, but, yeah, like, it is getting late here, y'all. I am just about ready to head on out of here. One last sort of rambly, intrusive thought before we go. Um... I wish Diamond Art Club would have put some red, like dark red ABs in that tree just to the left of the cabin. I know that it could have possibly taken away from the cabin being the focal point of the canvas, but I really think that, you know... Like, that tree over there has ABs, that tree right there has ABs, but that tree didn't get any love. Like, Diamond Art Club, you should have shown that one some love. <laughs> but as challenging as it was, it was a very rewarding kit, and I am going to go get some sleep. I hope that all of you had a wonderful Halloween and if your project didn't turn out the way that you wanted this year I hope that it goes better for you for Jills and Chills 24. All right I will see you later bye. Editing Mythic here I um I had my sticker sheet all crumpled up when I first unboxed Space for Reflection. In case y'all don't remember, um, I'll just toss it up in the iCards, my unboxing video for it. But yeah, like the sticker sheet was crumpled and I forgot to include it in my post review last night. So um, 
here's what I did to get around the stickers being all messed up and like constantly wanting to peel up. Um, I just went and I stuck some scotch tape on top of my containers and that at times made the labels a little bit difficult to read especially if they're like like this one or like this one like sometimes if you're working in a low light environment it may not be the best of contrast especially if you're just like reaching for something out of your peripheral vision to keep placing your diamonds um but in a pinch yes scotch tape it totally works Okay, I'm going to go now and I'm going to get ready for work. See y'all later. Bye.